You're watching 11 Alive, where Atlanta speaks. 11 Alive News at 11 starts now. Let's get to our top story tonight. Is one of bravery and recovery after a Cherokee County woman tried to leave her marriage only to be shot several times. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ron Jones. And I'm Jennifer Bellamy. Tina Davis is finally back on her feet just as her estranged husband is sentenced to 65 years in prison for trying to kill her. She spoke exclusively with our Paula Suro tonight and says to this day, the man still hasn't apologized. The x-rays and scars tell the story of that morning in February four years ago. He came around the corner to the bathroom and he said, there ain't nobody else going to have you. And he started shooting. Tina Davis shot seven times by her then husband, Ronald Richard Goss, after she told him she wanted a divorce. He caught off power to the house and shot open a door to get inside her master bathroom. I didn't see it coming at all because he had never been physically violent with me. I remember plainly thinking, I am not dying, not today and not like this. And, you know, I never lost consciousness. Goss shot Davis in the chest, left forearm, left thumb, left shoulder, right hip, and her head. He then called 911 after a bullet hit him. SWAT teams and emergency personnel responded, rushing Davis to the hospital. It was dark. One of the bullets had ricocheted and took out his right eye, so he couldn't see well. So he came over and shot to shoot me in the head. You can see that 40 caliber bullet sitting crossways on her cheek here. More than 15 surgeries, dental procedures, and 450 hours of physical therapy later. Home sweet home. Davis, who was a fitness instructor, has been able to dance with her son on his wedding day. I'll and even start a running nonprofit to help raise awareness about domestic violence. She still keeps in touch with the first responders who helped her that morning. Any kind of abuse is unacceptable. Get out while you can because you don't know what's going to set it off and how far it's going to escalate. Goss has been sentenced to 65 years in prison. Davis tells me he has sent her multiple letters from jail. She says none of them are apologetic. I still to this day don't think he really acknowledges what he did. He still has never said, I'm sorry, but I'm just, I'm looking forward to him just being sent away. You know, I'm paying for what he did. Incredible story there. Davis's fundraiser, Tina's Cat Run, has raised $23,000 in four years. That money has gone to women's and family violence shelters, and we have much more information for you on 11alive.com. All right.